This is part 13 of our training tutorials on Luminar 4. This is how to create the golden hour every hour. Uh, that's the title that Luminar gave me when they wanted me to create this tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna look at the tools that are available to us to recreate and emulate that kind of beautiful light that you get right around sunset or sunrise. Now I'll be straight up with you. I'm pretty sure that Skylum wanted me to focus just solely on that slider, the golden hour slider, bringing that up and magically your photo is going to look just like you shot it in the golden hour. It's not the case. Um, what you have to do is a couple of other little things. There are workarounds. So the golden hour slider is great and you're going to introduce those lovely warm kind of tones into your image but you do need to do a little bit more. So in this video, that's what we're gonna look at, how we can recreate or at least emulate that beautiful light that you get around sunrise and sunset. So cheers guys, let's watch the video. So this is the photograph we're going to work on first. And this is a photo of my daughter being carried through a field by my wife and it's the middle of the day, midday sun. So it certainly doesn't have any of the qualities of the golden hour. So let's see what we can do with the luminar to actually introduce that fantastic look that we can get around that time of day. The first thing I'm gonna do is go straight into Landscape Enhancer where you'll find the golden hour tool. Let's crank that all the way up to 100. And although that's a little bit too much, we're gonna leave that there for now. And you can see that it's certainly saturated all the colors and brought a warmth to the image that wasn't otherwise there. If you want to take the warming effect further, what you can do is come into the light section and use the temperature slider and just take that to the right. Where we were sat before, around that 4600 Kelvin, that is the color temperature around midday. So we want to actually warm that up as well. And that's looking good in terms of the color toning, but the problem is we're getting a little oversaturated now. So let's see what we can do to solve that. If we come to the color section, we can actually grab the saturation slider and just ease that off to the left. And now we're left with all that wonderful warm orange toning, but without the extreme saturation. We're gonna just see if we can control the highlights a little bit here on my daughter's arm. So let's come to the light section and grab highlights and just start to bring those down. And now that's just controlling those highlights there. If we come to the advanced section, we can also grab the whites and just bring those down as well. Now for the next step, I'm gonna try and get a little more creative and just really enhance this golden hour look. So one of the things that we see around golden hour is just this lovely warmth, but also a really nice dreamlike kind of quality about the light. It's hard to explain, but let's see what we can do in the creative tab. Come on over. We're gonna play around with mystical and just add in a little bit of that. So if I take that to the right, you can see exactly what that tool is doing. Let's just ease that off. So we're just tickling in around 25% of that. And now we're gonna to come to sun rays. And what I want to do is emulate the fact that the sun is hitting this side of my daughter here. So as I mentioned, this shot was taken in the middle of the day. So the sun would be up pretty high in the sky coming top down almost. But what we're going to do is actually put a sun effect over here on the left hand side. And because it's lower, that will help to enhance that golden hour feeling. So come to sun rays and let's place the sun center. And let's move the sun center into this gap over here so that it's going to kind of bleed through this opening in the foliage. Let's go pretty heavy handed with the amount just so we can see what's happening with the effect. So a couple of things I'd like to do is actually tone it to a more warm yellow and also create a more sort of believable effect with this. So let's increase the length of the sun rays so it's kind of bleeding through more of the photo. Let's grab the penetration slider and just have a little look at what's going on there. Okay, we're gonna leave that around 45 and let's dive into the advanced setting. The number of sun rays is currently halfway up the slider here. If we go to the right, you can see it's adding a lot more rays. And in this instance, I just really don't feel that's particularly believable. So I want to drop that pretty far back. And from here, I'm just gonna have a play around with these other sliders and see what effect we can get. So this is our sun radius. I'm gonna leave that where that is. The sun glow radius, let's increase that and drop it back. Yeah, I think we'll push that quite hard. And the sun glow amount, let's have a play with this. Yeah, we wanna give it a nice full glow. Now the sun warmth, this will address the kind of whiteness that we've got at the moment. So let's warm the sun up slightly and the rays 
warmth let's push that to the right as well look at all that yellow coming through now so again it's it's all very strong at the moment but we're gonna we're gonna deal to that i like to work with the amount pretty high here we're at 100 and that just enables you to see exactly what changes you're making and then you can come back to that slider and just reduce it once you're happy with that look you can just play with it and ease it in to a point where you're happy maybe somewhere around that sort of like 39 40 mark let's say we're happy with that let's click done there and let's look at our before and after here's our before very much middle of the day shot here's after we're emulating that golden hour look and the starting point for all of that was with the golden hour slider Guys, I work as a professional photographer, but I'm really enjoying just sharing information with you guys as an audience. And the fact that the internet allows us to reach out to people. Um, I've got subscribers all over the world now, and I love that. That just blows my mind. It really does. Um, and I appreciate every single one of you. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. So thanks, guys. Let's get back to the video. Cheers. In this photo, I'm just going to walk you through three simple steps to make sure that you can get a nice golden hour look. We're not going to be as complex as we were in the last example. I just want to show you how simple it can be. So the first thing we'll do is come to the landscape enhancer, grab the golden hour slider, push that all the way up. Now let's come and look at color temperature and push that up too. Let's go quite high on this. Let's go up to 9400. Why not? And then the last thing we want to do is just come to the color tab and just reduce the saturation. Currently we've got a slight green cast to this image, so I'm going to revisit the temperature and tint section. This time I'm going to grab the tint and add in just a little bit of magenta and that's going to counteract that green toning. So let's look at our before, a very cold muted kind of image and our after very much a warm sunlit kind of vibe going on here. Obviously you can take this look much further and you can play with things like I did in the original image But for here, I just wanted to show you just how quick and simple it can be to change the mood of your photo to emulate that golden hour look If you do feel you want to take things a little further one place you could look at is it within the pro section coming to split toning and actually warming the highlights whilst at the same time counteracting that by cooling off the shadows. So let's have a look at that. Let's put an orangey hue into the highlights. And again, let's be quite aggressive with this just so we can see what we're doing. Let's grab a blue and increase the saturation of that. That's going to be dialing into the shadows and that's giving it a nice complementary kind of color toning at the moment. And then what we can do is just ease off the amount if we feel like we'd like more of the blue in the shadows, we can grab this slider here and take that to the left. Now let's look at our before and after. Before, after, a big change, a much warmer image, very much emulating that golden hour look. So I've shared all of these videos with you as part of this playlist. We got up to number 13. The next one, number 14, is our last video it's turning your images into black and white or as Skyland like to title it how to create black and white masterpieces whether or not you think they're masterpieces the, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder but I show you how to do it anyway so come along for that video I'll share the link with you and I'll see you there